What's up, everybody? Derek here. Welcome to Seven Days to Die, Episode 6. Uh, we left off at the, uh, the attic of this farmhouse here, and judging by the sounds that have been emanating from this place during the night, it's not going to be a very lovely sight. So, let's go ahead and eat some of our precious chicken. Get our food up. Get our drink up. And now we are ready to fight us some zombies. Oh. This isn't good. We've only got one frickin' can of chicken left. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable, my friends. We can't do this. I, I might as well I might as well just stop the episode. I just there's no way. There's no way I can do this with one can of chicken. I just It's so depressing. But you know what? I'm I'm gonna do it for you guys. That's that's fine. I'll do it for you. Are we locked and loaded? Yes we are. Let's head on out. Probably not going to like the sight of this, but we need to go ahead and get out of here. Whoa! I got hurt by a curtain. Craziness. careful not to destroy too much. I would actually like uh, to use this place as a temporary residence until we get our base built. I did, however, fix uh, a recipe problem. Um, and my phone's going off in the background. If you look here, you'll see that I have barbed fence wire. Now, unless you actually fix that in the recipes, you will not have that. That is something that actually has to be fixed. And we're not going to be able to get down like that. Alright, now they got a path to me, so we better be careful. Oh, good lord. What have they done? They're all in the basement, aren't they? Yep, I bet they are. And uh, they can stay down there, as far as I'm concerned. They have been digging their little butts off to try to get to us. I don't think we've checked this garage here. Actually, I think maybe we have. Alright, let's get a boot scoot and boogie on. I do not remember if we've checked in here before. I think we might have not. I don't think we have. I think this episode we're going to... We're going to go ahead and probably start uh, construction on our base and get it going. That way we can get a, uh, a fair jump. I am pretty sure I've already been in here. Okay. Now, where are we going to go? This is a church over here. I know that. But I'm thinking... A lot of people build, like, in the lake and stuff like that, and I just... I don't think I want to do that. I, I really don't. I'm probably going to stick around in this area here. So let's, uh... Let's check this out. After we kill these. Because I don't want them hanging around when I come back. All right. Go ahead and head on our way here. I'm going to check this area over here and just see how practical it's going to be for us to, to build a base in it. If you're just going to stand there like a fool, I'm just going to shoot your head. Uh, hmm. Well, we could literally set a base pretty much right here if we wanted to. That's if we wanted to. And there's a nice little clearing over here. I think uh, I think this might be good. 
And this will give us enough time to, to go back and forth from the farm to uh, get the safe areas. Now this looked a lot more cleared out. Yeah, see, it looked a lot more cleared out on the map than what it was. Why am I hearing... Is it just me, or do you hear that too? Ah, uh, okay. Waskly Wabbit. Let's go ahead and make us... Uh, no, we don't need to type. Hmm. Let's go ahead and make us a fire axe. Fire axes are cool. We're going to need to clear the room anyway, so let's just go ahead and do it. Get out of the way, because you know that crap can hurt us. We're going to need the wood anyway. Lots and lots of wood. Kill them. Oh, of course. More of you. Just gonna spawn wherever you want to, huh? You probably have pills on you. Yes, you do. You don't have nothing on you. Get out of my face. Alright. Let's go ahead and clear this area. This will be where our base is. Yay! Got wood? I got wood. Everybody loves wood. But not as much as chicken. <laughs> Alright. That is a big old tree. Big old tree. Big old tree come falling. Get out of my way, fool. Collect it! Why? What? Yeah, that's what I thought. Better shut up. Alright, load the shotgun. What, are we out of room? Yeah, I think we are, because we got a whole different type of wood. What do I not need? Uh, I don't need cloth fragments. down there, so I'm not too worried about him. No, oh, not the rock. Oh, it's a tiny tree. Itty bitty little tree. Miss anything? No. Alright. Let's see how much room we got cleared here. How much room are we gonna need? Uh, uh, that might be enough. Uh, just to be safe. Let's go ahead and clear these. We're gonna need them anyway. And yes, I am building a base out of wood. Now, for those of you that have played this game or have watched, plenty of other of us playing the game, you're probably screaming no right now. And, you know, you're, you're justified to do so. But here's the thing. My house is going to be made of wood. That doesn't mean that that wood is going to be my only protection. I've got plans. Now, them little uh, barbed wire fences that I've got in my inventory, well, as of Alpha 1, rumor has it, they're indestructible. And I have seen plenty of videos, well, okay, maybe not plenty, but I have seen a video or two of people that have used said barbed wire fences, and they don't get destroyed. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the barbed wire fences, and they're not going to get destroyed. Therefore, okay, 
I don't have... Do I have rock in my inventory? Because if I don't... I do. Okay. So we'll be able to clear these. Get these cleared out of the way. Any other rocks? Yep. Because so I'm going to use a combination of stone and barbed wire fence. And my theory, if I prove it correct, is that that is now going to set that barbed wire fence a block high. And I'm hoping that even if they do destroy the stone underneath, which can easily be replaced, that since said barbed wire fence is indestructible, it's just going to float there. Now, the barbed wire fence is only one block high, I believe, so there have been instances where zombies have gotten their way over it, and that is going to be the reason for my bottom layer of stone. Now, I have not seen this tested, so it could fail miserably. But I'm going to hope that it doesn't. And you will be with me every step of the way. So if it fails, meh. We die. Either that or we run as fast as we can somewhere else. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to pick that up, so what are we going to do? Uh, how about we eat? Drink. And move the pasta down here. Now we're good. Definitely gonna need rock. Lots and lots of rock. And it is so much easier mining these little rocks and getting four stone each than it is actually mining. Which I find it weird. Like, if I mine an entire block of rock underneath me, which is bigger than one of these little rocks, you only get one rock. Somehow these little pebbles give you four, which I'm not complaining. That is fine. Alright, somebody's breathing. Where are you breathing at? Where are you breathing? Do not breathe on me, fool. What time is it? It is already 1600. My god, does the time go by. Okay. Clear this. That is cleared. Those are cleared. What's up? You got some pills for me? Hmm? You got nothing for me. You ain't no good. You're no good, you're no good. Baby, you know good. Alright, let's get these little bushy things out of the way. Because the grass I can punch. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not gonna waste my stamina on that shit. Oh, more rocks. Clear the rocks. I love the amount of rocks you get. This is crazy. I would have dug a very deep mine shaft to get this amount of rocks, so uh, I'm pretty happy with this. All right. Clear the bushes. That's cleared. And are we good? I think we are. I think we can switch. But I... Full, aren't we? We are. Damn it. Oh well. No biggie. I'll just break the grass. Not that we have to, but God, is it going to make it so much easier to build? This is going to be a very long and tedious process, but hey, no biggie. Uh, so, for those of you that uh, have watched my episode one of the uh, Kerbal Space 
Um, yeah. Was that not an adventure or what? I feel like such a derp. I... Like, that entire time... I, I still don't know why it was falling apart. I'm, I'm guessing because I didn't have enough struts or something. I, I don't know. But every time I was hitting the space bar to launch it, like, it wasn't launching. I'm like, what the hell? What's what's going on? Why ain't this damn thing picking up off the ground? I've seen people do this before. I had to throttle off. Like, I was so freaking derpy, I didn't even have the throttle up. Something inside me told me that that was going to be something that just, you know, was just already ready to go, I guess. You know, I, you hit launch, you think the thing's going to blast off, but apparently things don't work that way. So yeah, my throttle was down that entire time, and I, I bet a bunch of you were just freaking screaming at the screen at me. So, I apologize for your frustrations. But, then again, I did warn you in the beginning of the video that it was a derp episode. That I had no freaking clue what the hell I was doing. So you were warned. I bet this grass is taking durability away from my pickaxe. Every swing. Like I'm breaking blocks. Yep, it sure is. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Oh well. At least my inventory's clear now. I can just punch the damn things. Alright, calm down, rest for a little bit. I got a little teeny bit amount of time here. I got two hours. I'm alright for now. At least for a little bit of time. Kidding me. Good lord. Some of these things of grass are just. Oh, because I'm out of breath, that's why. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. Let's get some stamina back. Let's get running back to the house before we get caught out in this bitch. That wouldn't be good. No, sirree, it would not. That would be pretty icky. Get back to the house as fast as you can. Run, 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 run. You like that? I made it up. It's a nice song. Stand by for a vape off of my cigarette. Ah, okay. So... Maybe I might want to patch this up a tiny bit. Just because I really don't feel like, one, the house falling down on me. Two, yeah, see, like that. I really, really, really don't feel like... Uh, Falling down into that stupid basement. Although I should probably leave those there, so that way they, uh... Is there a way... Oh, there is. Okay. Alright. That'll work. That way I don't accidentally fall down in this thing. Check all these cabinets for food. I probably have. Oh! Got some more water. I'll take that. Uh, anything else I really need to patch up? No, not really. Get back upstairs here. Alright. 
You know what? I should have torched the downstairs. I never even thought about that. But you know what? I don't care. I don't. I really don't. I don't care. This corner's a little dark here. Take care of that. Because you never know. Might get some ugly old zombies. We don't want that. Alright, back to home sweet home. I am going to check on our time. And if I have not ran over yet, then we're just going to go ahead and flash forward into the morning. Because you don't want to see me sitting up in this boring old attic, listening to zombies munch on wood. That ain't, that ain't entertaining. Not in the very least. That's boring. The hell with that. So, I'm going to check. And if I have not ran over, then we're just going to go ahead and continue. I, if I have ran over, then stand by for episode 7. Peace.